Written by Kate Pfeiffer. Illustrated by Diane Good. This is my mom. Sure, she looks like a nice mom. She makes people smile. She makes people clean. She gives hungry people food. She takes people where they need to go, and then she picks them up and brings them home. She makes boo-boos stop hurting. And she helps people fall asleep when they can't. But if my mom is such a nice mom, why is she trying to ruin my life? Here are five ways that my mom is trying to ruin my life. Way one. She kisses me in front of my friends. She doesn't just kiss on top of my head. That would be bad, but not so bad. My mom gives me kisses all over my face. Way two. She stops by my school in the middle of the day, barges into my classroom and says, I thought Emma might be hot and would like to change into these shorts. Like I would ever change my clothes at school. I don't think so. Way three. She talks too loudly. Way four. She never lets me eat any food that I think is good for me. Way five. She worries about everything and never lets me do anything fun because I might get hurt, which I won't. I've decided it's time to stop my mother before she ruins the rest of my life. So I've come up with a plan. The first thing I'll do is I'll sneak out of the house when my mom isn't looking. Then I'll get on my bike and pedal away as fast as I can. But what if my mom calls for me and I don't answer? Hmm. She'll figure out that I snuck out of the house and biked away and she'll get in her car and catch up to me. Hmm. This plan won't work unless I sneak out of the house, get on my bike, pedal away as fast as I can, and then when she catches up to me, keep pedaling until I pedal down a steep hill into a muddy hole and she'll drive down the steep hill into the muddy hole and her car will get stuck. Only I'll be stuck too. Hmm. And the hill is so steep that my pedal, but I can't pedal my bike up it anyway, so my mom would have to get out of her car, push me up the hill on my bike. But then when I'm safely at the top of the hill, I'll start biking away as fast as I can. My mom will run after me, but I'll be pedaling so fast she won't be able to keep up with me. So she'll stop and go to the police station and tell them that her child has biked away. And they'll look at her and ask, is it because you're ruining her life? And she'll say, no. And they won't believe her, so they'll put her in jail for trying to ruin my life. And they'll tell her she gets to make one phone call, and she'll call my dad, who, by the way, is also trying to ruin my life. Only he does it in different ways than my mother does. This is how my dad is ruining my life. Way one. He makes me do my homework. As soon as I get home from school. No matter what else I'm in the middle of doing. Way two. He makes me turn off my light at 8 o'clock at night. Even if I'm not tired. Way three. He makes me clean up my room. Even though it's already clean. So my dad will go to the police station to get my mother out of jail. And the police sergeant will see that he's trying to ruin my life too. And they'll arrest him. Then my mother and father will both be in jail. And my life will be perfect. Except I will have biked home and it'll be time for dinner. And I'll be hungry. But there will be no one there to feed me. Then it will be time to go to bed, and there will be no one there to read me a story. There will be no one there to give me a kiss goodnight, and there will be no one there to tell me to turn off my light. And if I go to bed, I can't sleep because my light is still on, and I suddenly get thirsty, and there will be no one there to bring me a glass of water. (laughs) 
And then if I do fall asleep and have a bad dream because I went to sleep hungry without any stories or nothing to drink, there will be no one there to hug me and say it's just a dream. I will be scared. Really scared. If my parents are both in jail, my life will be ruined. Mom? Dad? I love you.